Let's talk tripods. Before we go into that, we should explain what a tripod kind of is first and foremost. Um, for the people who are brand new to the game and you've never played, um, you've never ever played Lost Ark yet and you have no idea what the hell a tripod is, your skill all starts at level one. And when your skill reaches level four, it unlocks the first row of tripods. When it reaches level seven, it reaches, it unlocks the second row of tripods. And when it reaches level 10, it unlocks the third row of tripods. Level 55 and level 60 also exist in NA and EU. And when you reach level 55, you can level all your skills to level 11, which increases its damage output by about 9%. And at level 60, you can increase the skill once again to level 12, which increases the skill damage once again by about 6%. So the difference between a level 50 and a level 60 in terms of raw skill damage can be about 15%. But let's focus on the tripods themselves. It takes four skill points to get to level four. It takes 20 skill points to get to level seven, and it takes 48 skill points to get to level 10. That means that your first level 10 skill can be unlocked at about level 20, which is around the time that you finish the Moira Ruins dungeon in the storyline quest. These tripod modifiers are pretty big game changers when it comes to the skills. They modify the skills in fairly major ways, with the later ones having much, much bigger impacts on the skill than the earlier ones, which usually do light things like slightly increased attack speed, slightly increased damage, mana cost reduction, so on and so forth. And then the middle row ones are usually pretty good too. But you can see that underneath all of these tripods, there's a level and these say level 1. In the entirety of tier 1 and tier 2, you will not be leveling your tripods. The concept of leveling tripods only begins once you reach tier 3 content. You can see as I hover over the tooltip that certain tripods max out at level 1, whereas other tripods max out at level 5. So you can see this one's currently level 1, and it shows the tooltip information at level 2, with the max being level 5. If we go over here now, you might be wondering how do you actually level up the tripods? Tripods are leveled in a very weird way. Um, so starting in tier three gear, uh, let me just explain what each of these are. This is the basic effect, which is affected by your item enhancement. The higher this goes, the more higher these goes. This is the bonus effect, which is affected by your quality. The higher your quality is, the higher this goes. What we're focusing on is this section, which does not appear in Tier 1 and Tier 2 gear. Starting from Tier 3 gear, though, you'll start to notice these appear on your items, and these are tripod items. These are tripod levels. So in order for you to level up your tripods, you need to actually get them as a passive on your armors. So these are leveling up my skills. This one increases the level of this tripod by plus 3, so it goes from 1 all the way to 4. And this one is raising the level of this tripod by plus three, so from one all the way to four. See, this is a lot of information right from the get-go, but like I said, in tier one and tier two, you're not gonna have to deal with this system. Don't try to get, don't get too overwhelmed uh, by this. And so instead of a traditional system of leveling up something passively, you're getting your tripod levels through the gear. Now, that being said, you might be wondering, how do you actually get it on your gear, and if the gear drops or is created with random tripods on it, isn't that too much RNG? Well, yes, but that's why this system exists. This NPC allows you to take a fodder piece of item, a, a piece of like crap gear that you get from Chaos Dungeon, and instead of dismantling it, if it has a tripod that you want on it that is useful to you, you can transfer it at a chance. So if I want this, this has a 15% chance of transferring. I could use this item if I wanted to, and then this would go up to 30%. You drop a lot of fodder items, and so you'll be trying this very, very, very frequently. Now, 15% is still pretty rough, and when it's a level four tripod, it goes all the way down to 5%. And the, the odds of landing a 5% are miserably low. And so there's a little trick that we can abuse here. It's called the tripod library. What the tripod library lets us do is take a piece of equipment 
and forcefully copy its tripods into a saved preset. This doesn't do anything to the item, it just copies over its tripods. And then, on any other item, including the one that you have equipped, you can take the copied tripods and apply them at a 100% chance. It, it, it's just guaranteed. You can copy it as many times as you'd like. And now that's all my item. I didn't have to deal with any RNG. And this works even with level 4 tripods. So if I have an item with two level 4 tripods on it, I can copy it over and then put it on my item at a 100% chance. Is that an oversight? No. Why does that work? Well, the first thing is, if you apply tripods to an item like this, it makes it bound to you. So you can no longer trade it if you've applied tripods to it this way. But that's that's not too relevant. Uh, the reason why, it's just to help you so that you have better, so that you can transfer it easily because you're not going to get an item. It's very unlikely that you get an item that has three perfect tripods on it that you want. So like, look at this item, for example. I transfer this over and then I copy it over. I have two skills that are not useful to me. I'll still have to do the manual method, but at least for some of the skills, I was able to mitigate RNG and do it at a 100% rate. No, 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 you can't do that. If you copy over tripods from the library onto an item, it can no longer be used to swap over uh, through the manual swap. You could only copy it like... Oh, this is so hard to explain. I'm trying to explain that this system is not that brutal, but doing it, explaining it, and teaching you... Because, okay. They don't teach you this in game, by the way. They don't teach you how to use the tripod library at all. There is no guide. There's no official guide on this at all. The only way you would ever learn how to do this is by being taught by like a streamer or your friend. <laughs> and if you never learn how to do this, you would be manually trying 5% uh, until you were broken down to tears. You don't have to choose between copy. So look. The pants, I just copied over tripods from an item, right? Actually, maybe I can find, maybe I have an item that has multiple tripods. Okay, let's look at this one. Okay. Um, this chest piece, check this out. My current chest piece has two tripods on it. It's kind of like, eh, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty crap. But this one that I dropped during Chaos Dungeon has two tripods that are useful to me at plus three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here. I'm going to take that item, I'm going to copy its tripods into my library, and then I'm going to go to my chest that I'm currently equipped, and then take those tripods and copy them over 100%. And it has to copy this middle one over. You don't get to choose individual tripods. The entire thing is copied. And now what I'm going to go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the chest piece. I'm going to find an item that has another tripod that I want to replace this useless one in the middle. And now I'm just going to try manual transfers until it works. And then once it eventually succeeds, which I hope it does eventually, but 15% isn't that great. Um, when it eventually succeeds like that, now I have a chest piece that has three tripods on it that are useful to me. Correct. If you copy an item, if you copy your library tripods over to an item, it can no longer be used for fodder. So you can't infinitely create duplicate items to try over and over. Now, one more expl explanation. First of all, the broken, uh, the broken items, they only come from certain contents and I'll show you. So chaos dungeons is where this is going to come from. Um, again, tier one, tier two, you're not going to get items that are used for this, but starting in tier three, you will. Um, tier three items drop and have these modifiers on them, starting from the very first one in tier three. And you can drop. So you know how in tier one and tier you dropped equipment and then you upgraded that equipment and then you went and got raid equipment. You can you see how tier three has all these extra chaos dungeons in it. After a certain point, you stop dropping equipable gear from Chaos Dungeons and you only drop the shattered items. And the reason for that is because continue progressing your equipment, you have to raid. You have to raid. At this point, you stop getting gear from solo gameplay to, uh, to keep progressing. They are not tradable to other characters, but they can be sold. Let's say 
instead of dropping an item with tripod items uh with with tripods myself let's say that i want to buy it from another player because these these broken items they can be listed on the auction house let me filter you know what? let me filter it by a specific slot i'll filter it by helmets that should make it a lot easier i think okay so looking through these helmets i mean these are priced very expensive but here's an example this helmet has a plus three and a plus four of a tripod that i'm looking for and it has three binds left on it and it's twenty-five thousand gold that sounds like a lot of of, of gold for something uh, that 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 has that's a finite in usage. Here's the thing: I could buy this helmet, copy its tripods over, and then relist the helmet for around the same price I bought it for. Yep, that's a thing. It'll actually be worth slightly less than its original cost because, much like other items, these items have. A limited number of binds on them and so if I buy it instead of three binds remaining it'll have two binds remaining and just just as a general understanding an item that has two bindings remaining is worth less than an item that has three bindings remaining and an item that has one binding remaining is worth less than two uh, so I can't sell it for the exact same price yeah it loses its mint condition I can I can sell it for a little less probably Where's the bind number? It's that red, it's the yellow number right above the 1415 in the tooltip. It also says the bind amount here in the brackets. Right. If an item only has one bind and you're buying it and it becomes soul bound to you on acquisition, that item is worth very little in comparison because you can't resell it. So you can't recuperate most of your costs. So when if you're ever going to do anything remotely like this, always make sure that the item has more than one bind remaining so that you can recuperate your losses. Yes, accessories and outfits follow the same principle, by the way. Uh, so with accessories, they can they can trade up to three times bef before they become soulbound, and the same thing with costumes. And there's actually something else about costumes that's really important to um, clear up. If an, if an outfit has three binds remaining on it, the outfit only costs gold if an outfit has less than three binds remaining on it it will also cost peons on top of that so used items have a peon cost in addition to their gold cost so be mindful if you're looking at outfits that the cost of the outfit even if it looks cheaper for gold it might actually be more expensive than the, the more expensive one if you factor in the peon cost just to be clear, if your gear has tripod level 1 and you buy one with level 4 of the same skill, if it succeeds, it gets level 5. Oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, that's a really good point. I should also clear that up because um, I have made this mistake before and it's a very, very, very easy to mis mistake to make when it comes to tripod levels. You can only have one tripod thingy for the thingy to raise the thing and if you have more than one thing raising the thing they don't both apply to the same thing so if you want a level five tripod you can't have a plus two and then another plus two of the same exact thing you need a plus four because only the highest applies does that make sense